Okay, we've got a basic HTML page here. I'm gonna set up this div with a class of circle. Go ahead and style that guy. We'll say width 200, height 200, uh, and a border radius, I'll just say 100%. Save that, and that didn't reload. Oh, you know what, let's give it a background color. There it is, and I'm just gonna get that centered. Okay, there we go. So now we've got the circle, and if we wanna animate it, uh, we could go download a whole bunch of libraries and whatever. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna look at the Web Animations API. Uh, so I'm gonna set up a little JavaScript here. I'm going to select our circle element, and then I'm just gonna add animate. I'm gonna tack that on. I'm just gonna chain it right there. Now animate is going to take in a couple things. The first thing is an array of keyframes, and the second thing is an object that represents our, uh, I think they call it the effect timing object. Uh, so in our keyframes, each one is an object, and then we use um, CSS, uh, uh, or we use you know CSS type selectors or descriptors to animate this thing. Um, so I'm going to say it has a key of transform. I'm going to make that equal to translate y. So we'll be animating on the Y axis, and this is our starting point, zero. I'm gonna add another one. Again, we're still inside that array, and I'm gonna say 450 pixels. Now when I save that, nothing's gonna happen because we haven't set up our timing object. So our timing object um, can take a few things. One is duration. So this is how long is it gonna to take to run the animation. As soon as I add that, we can see it is moving from a position of zero to 450 pixels, uh, but I only did it once. I wanted to do it a bunch of times. So we can say iterations, and let's say I just put in three here. That's gonna do that from top to bottom three times, and then it's gonna end. Uh, we can replace that with infinity, infinity, and it'll just do it endlessly now. So what I wanna do here is have it kinda of go down and come back up, not just this uh, going down action. Uh, so we can set a direction, and in my case, I want something called alternate. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna play the animation forward, and then it's gonna play the animation back, and when it gets to the beginning, it'll play it forward again. Uh, one more thing we can do here is add a bit of easing. So we can use, uh, you can use uh, curves or whatever you want, um, or you can just use kind of standard built-in CSS stuff like ease uh, in, out. Now it'll get just a little bit smoother. So that's pretty cool. So I chose to do translate Y here. Could have done, uh, here, let's just play with this for a second. So on the transform, I'll say margin top. I wouldn't suggest doing this. But just to show you, we can play with uh, different CSS properties. So now I'm achieving the exact same thing with margin top. Uh, we could do something like background color, start off at red, and go to blue. And we'll see each of those animating. So we can see the margin is animating, and we can see that the background color is animating.